Hello ladies and gentlemen, Stephen here from Red Lessons. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in today. It really means a lot. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a closer look at a fragrance by the company Arabesque. This one is actually a few years old. This one is called Baccarat, so make sure to stay tuned. Now before I begin my fragrance review of Baccarat by Arabesque, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, if you like discovering new fragrances like fragrance reviews just like this video, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings, special guests and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner and then of course while you're at it, please make sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell icon. This way whenever I do put out these videos, they will be delivered straight to your feed. You never need to worry about missing any of my future content. So here is a fragrance that actually came out in 2017. So it's a few years old now. The company is called Arabesque and the fragrance itself is called Baccarat. Good news is that this one smells nothing like Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kirk John. I actually had a situation where I reviewed another fragrance with the name Baccarat Vanille. And so whenever people think of that, they typically think of that fragrance, which is quite popular, but there is absolutely no resemblance here. So this fragrance was actually composed by Miroslav Petkov, who is an IFF perfumer, if I'm not mistaken. He's actually done a couple of fragrances by Zerzhov, Cruz del Sor 1 being one of them. He's also done a fragrance for Attar Collection, maybe more than one. And then he's also done a couple for Arabesque. Now this fragrance is a lot of citrus. So you're gonna get this mandarin orange opening. It's a little musky, you have citron, you have a little bit of bergamot. There's also pink pepper, some oak moss in the base. But I personally pick up on a few other ingredients that I find to be very soothing, very calming, and I'm very excited to tell you about them. But let's go ahead and start things off with the presentation. So in the opening of this fragrance, you will get that uh, mandarin orange. So it opens up very citrusy, very warm, very delightful at the same time. It's a very accessible formula. There are no rough edges about it. And I feel like the orange is perhaps a little bit stronger than the citron and the bergamot because it has that orangey warmth. I know it's a very weird way of putting it, but orange for me has a very distinct odor profile. And I can typically pick up on a citrus if it's orange versus like lemon or bergamot or grapefruit or something like that. It really just has that zesty warmth about it, which I really enjoy. And then you can also perceive a cleanliness in the base. And so it kind of has like this smooth, musky texture in the base, which is not rough at all. Like I said, there are no rough edges in this composition. It has this very clean sort of a feeling in the base. And there's a little bit of like an earthy texture as well. Now I know it lists moss or oak moss in the note breakdown. And so I'm kind of getting a little bit of that to be honest, but it's not overly green. It is not reminiscent of any of the 80s powerhouse fragrances so you can wipe that thought out of mind and then you're also going to get a little bit of rhubarb in here now i think that that's really the star player of this fragrance and it's really the component in here that is kind of giving this fragrance like an herbal feel and so you're going to get that rhubarb with a little bit of the pink pepper which is adding a rosy nuance but i really think that the rhubarb is probably a little bit stronger in this fragrance now i don't have a whole lot of experience with rhubarb there is one hermes fragrance that i've smelled that has rhubarb and so i'm kind of using that as a frame of reference but i wouldn't create too close of a comparison between this fragrance and then the rhubarb offering from hermes because i find them to be quite different the only comparison that i probably could make but even then it's like a very distant cousin is Habdan by Parfum de Marly and it's not because they smell too similar but because there's an herbal component in here which I find quite hard to describe and the herbal component is one that reminds me a little bit of the smell of chamomile now I've had chamomile all the time when I was growing up and of course it's a mild sedative you can have a cup of tea chamomile tea before you go to sleep at night and it'll help sort of relax you and so this one kind of has like that smooth, slightly citrusy, warm herbal appeal about it, which I find to be really enjoyable. And it's the element in here that makes me say this is a very soothing and a very calming fragrance. 
Again, it's not overly loud or overly robust. There isn't anything about it that makes you know, it, the fragrance scream or jump up off your skin as though it's demanding attention, but it kind of rests on your skin like a warm blanket while still projecting very nicely. But what I'm trying to say is that there are no notes in here which are too demanding of one's attention. There are no dark resins, there are no smokes, there's no incense if you catch my drift. And so this one is a very enjoyable fragrance for me at least. It's a very warm fragrance on the skin, very calming and meditative. It has this serene, tranquil aura about it. And for this reason, I think this time of the year is an amazing time of the year to pull this one off. I think if you're wearing this one in the dead of winter, perhaps it might not be as loud for your personal liking, but spring, summer, and perhaps even like a warm day in fall, I think this one is perfect. So I do find it to be a very versatile fragrance, and I personally really enjoy this fragrance. I think it's a very complex aroma. I think it's one that is so unique. I've never actually smelled anything like this before. Even the mild comparisons that I made before, I mean, that was just to kind of put you in the mindset of what you can sort of expect from this one. But really, I haven't smelled anything that smells like this before. And so I really like the uniqueness of this fragrance, the rhubarb, the pink pepper, the musk, the moss. There's something a little bit woodsy in the base as well, but all of those other ingredients kind of overshadow it. It's a really nice fragrance, especially if you're a fan of a lot of those notes that I listed earlier. I think they do come across quite uh, transparently and you can pick up on the rhubarb and the citrus and the citron. And so very well done. Really happy to have this one in my collection. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, I certainly find this fragrance to be a unique smell. I haven't quite encountered any fragrance that smells like this. And so I really like the originality that is brought forth through this composition by Miroslav Petkov. I think um, a fantastic job was done here indeed. In terms of the overall smell, I think it's very pleasant. Like I said uh, several times throughout the course of this review, there are no rough edges. And so this is a very accessible formula. It's a very likable DNA, and it utilizes a lot of ingredients that kind of have a mass appeal to them. Longevity on this fragrance is about eight hours on your skin. I would say seven to eight hours. The projection was really good for the first hour to hour and a half. It radiated within an arm's length, never really beyond that. Like I said, it's kind of like a warm hug or a soft blanket that you would drape over yourself. That's kind of the effect that this fragrance has in the way that it sort of envelops you and kind of creates this aura around you, this scent cloud, if you will. In terms of the versatility, incredibly versatile. I think this one is totally unisex. I would wear this one in every season except for some, um, excuse me, winter. I think this one is also kind of a formal scent. And so I can see myself wearing this one dressed up just because the the uniqueness of the aroma is there had it been a little bit more common or generic i would say yeah I wear it casually and formally but i think there's something special about this formula where i would feel inclined to wear this one formally and then i can see somebody quite on the youthful side enjoying this one as well as somebody who's a little bit older and in terms of the presentation i really do like the bottle i think it looks very chic and elegant and i love the tassel that is draped off the collar here so my final verdict on this fragrance is if you are a fan of warm citrus and slightly herbal fragrances with a mossy and musky dry down I think you're really going to enjoy this fragrance and keep in mind the order of strength is probably going to be the citrus at the top then the herbal component then the musk and then you have those green elements residing way in the base I don't find this one to be too mossy at all and so if you like that hierarchy if you will I think you're really going to enjoy this one, and I personally really like this one as well. As a matter of fact, I have featured it in a list in the past. I can't even remember what video it was, but I know I've spoken about it on camera before, and so this is one that I'm certainly glad to have in my collection. So. Thank you so much for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. I really do appreciate your viewership. That was my review of Baccarat by Arabesque. If you own or have tried this fragrance, or for that matter, any fragrance from this brand, I would love to know what your experience has been like. Leave a comment down below. Always love the interaction. And also, if you are new to this channel and you took something of value from this video, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. All you have to do is click on that red button in the corner. And of course, while you're at it, please be sure to enable notifications by clicking on the bell. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. We'll see you soon.